Well, <laughs> I only thought I was frazzled. I confirmed my frazzledness when I just got up to the window at Zach's Beast to get John and I a salad. When I realized that I'd ordered something from Etsy last night and left my wallet laying on the couch with my debit card and my driver's license and my money. And you know what's so crazy? I thought to myself last night, you better go put your wallet in your purse. You're liable to forget this. Dun, 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 dun. I did. But thank goodness, <clears throat> I called John and they let me give him his debit number. Thank goodness we live in a somewhat trusting society. <laughs> I guess I didn't look much like a criminal so they let me give my debit card number and get us some supper if not we would be eating banana sandwiches tonight or tomato sandwiches I think we still have some fresh tomatoes I have kept three little wild Indians today and I am frazzled out the headache is still somewhat there but still better, but still my neck is hurting pretty bad. But I'm excited. <laughs> Boy, this is a lot to get excited about. I'm excited because I'm going back to the chiropractor tomorrow. I rescheduled TMI, but I rescheduled my GYN appointment to Thursday. Thank goodness for connections there that can get me rescheduled. I know TMI. Um, I just was afraid to get my and because I'm going to the eye doctor in the morning and I was just afraid of getting my eyes dilated and then driving to the other side of Birmingham was a little chancy with this headache yeah I don't want to put myself or anybody else in danger and I think I, I, you know I drive after my eyes are dilated but with having a headache and it rained y'all see you can see the sun on my face right now it rained all day today all day it rained all night last night just a good steady you know i was telling y'all how i love just a good rain but now last night it lightning for about 45 minutes solid strong lightning and then somebody put on Facebook that there were trees down on the main road to my house this afternoon. So it must have got pretty rough at my house again. And I was like, oh, please, please don't let the power be out again. Because I'm just here to tell you, if the power is out again tonight, I will not stay there few weeks ago when the power was out it went out at 3 in the afternoon and it did not come back on till 3 in the morning and I was the most miserable creature on this earth John we went to bed around 10 ish John got under the cover we had the window up on my side of the bed. He didn't even have his window up. And he's under the cover. I had left the ceiling fan and the light switch up so that when the power did come back on, I knew, it, I mean, it had been off since three that afternoon. I knew it was gonna be bad because there was a lot of trees right past us down. I mean, there was some a good little tornadic activity that went right over us that evening that's the day that I was at mother's and the tree was down in the yard but I didn't tell y'all how miserable I was that night y'all I was like a caged wild animal with this dysautonomia I stay hot it's not menopausal <laughs> It's just that my body temperature is crazy. And it really, think about it, your body temperature is run by your autonomic system. And I mean, I touch people at church. You know, a lot of women's hands run real cold. 
and I'm like touch them or shake their hands at church and they're like oh my god you feel so good and I'm not I'm like no honey you feel good <laughs> just let me my hands stay pretty hot um, we were laying in the I mean this has been a movie play-in kind of day because I'm telling you it rained so hard for several hours today and so me and the boys were up in their mom and daddy's bed. I'm sure they really appreciate that. But they love to watch the TV in there. And we were in there. And at one point, uh, Reed, it was me. Oh, and I got to tell you about this too. But it was me, Reed, Riggs, and Rhett. And at one point, I laid my hand over on Reed. And he said, Gang, Gang, your hand feels like fire. <laughs> I said, no, I know, babe. I know. Y'all. The boys really not were not wild Indians today. They were really extremely good. It's just that all the noise just... Reed has the shrillest um, scream. I mean, he just he's always been a screamer ever since he's been tiny. And Riggs is too. Rhett is just... I don't know. He's just a repeater. Da -na 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 -na. But let me tell you what was going on at one point in time to make you appreciate whatever you did today. I guarantee you it was not as beautiful as this. We're laying in that bed. It's me, Reed, Riggs, and Rhett. Is that right? No, 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 no. By the, it changed at one point. It became me, Riggs, Reed, and Rhett. Rhett, okay, we've got Coco, some crazy Disney movie on the TV. Red is on the far right. He is playing the, um, oh, what do you call that game? It's a little handheld game. Oh, shoot, I can't remember. One of those little hand, handheld game. Reed is on, um, Reed is on a, an old telephone they got playing a, another game. And Riggs is right there beside me. John bought him, y'all might have seen him on the last videos, that little Mickey Mouse flashlight that lights up that plays hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. At one point, every one of those things were playing and I was laying there going, and take me away. Coco, one game, another game, and hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. And I was like, hot dog is right. My brain is right. I was like, ah! <laughs> I was just like, oh Lord. It was, it was real. It was every grandmother's dream. Hey, I'll look back and miss those days, won't I? I will. I will look back when they won't want anything to do with me and miss those days. <clears throat> but I left the baby shower yesterday. You know, I had the cookie, and that's the only cookie I ate. I did good. They sent me home with a whole box of cupcakes. They were beautiful. And so I told John, I said, don't even get in them. I'm taking them to the boys. <clears throat> Reed don't like cupcakes. I'd forgotten that. He said, I don't much like icing. I had forgot that. But Rhett and Riggs ate them. And then, of course, Michael was eyeing them before he went to work. So I took a whole box of cupcakes. Um, I took a huge bowl of watermelon. That's the second big bowl. No, it's the third bowl of watermelon I've taken this summer. Cause we went back by the farmer's market, you know, to get watermelon farm. It wasn't as good as the one we took last week. The one we took last week was perfect. It was so sweet. And then I, my nephew has got, has had the most beautiful garden, I'm telling you. And we've already had fresh tomatoes out of it and peas. And I had some peas left over. So I took the peas I actually don't cook nothing fresh like that. And I put the peas in a crock pot, cooked them four hours, 
today and put some um, bacon and stuff in it and let them cook and so I took the peas and cooked them so I took watermelon cupcakes and peas I think that's all and then they sent a key lime pie home with me and John took that to work that's all they were just sending stuff with me I said I'll send it to John's work and I'll take it to the boys because I sure don't need any of it well this afternoon they went downstairs and played for a long time I, I make them get off the electronics after they've been on those for a while because I'm just not gonna let them stay on electronics all day so we went downstairs and played for a good while and I was telling Reed about the peas as far as I know we'd never had any fresh peas and I said, you'll like them, because Reed likes adult food. Rhett is extremely picky. His daddy is picky. Michael's daddy is terribly picky. Um, Michael's daddy doesn't even eat cheese, but he's allergic to it. And um, so Reed said, Gang, Gang, I'm ready to try some of those peas. So I went upstairs and poured him some out in a bowl, letting them cool. Now, I don't know about y'all, but on filled peas, I eat ketchup on my filled peas. Now, y'all may think that's crazy, but I've always eaten ketchup, just a little bit of ketchup on the top of filled peas. And so, and the kids will eat anything with ketchup on it. So I fixed Reed a bowl of them, and I fixed um, Riggs a bowl of them, because I thought, if I put ketchup on there, Riggs will eat them. Sure enough, he ate, he ate the whole entire, it was a small bowl, but he ate the whole bowl. That boy ate watermelon all day. And um, Reed, I fixed a big bowl of peas for him and then fixed another bowl. He ate two larger bowls of the peas. But I, I've talked to Ashley and she's like, oh mother, I can't wait to get home and eat those fresh filled peas. I said, I guess I'm gonna have to start cooking these babies some fresh vegetables. Cause mom, I don't cook no fresh vegetables. I don't think any young people cook fresh vegetables anymore. I may be wrong. I said, Ashley, you live in a town where you have a Walmart, where you can pick up your groceries. And not only that, you have a Publix that will deliver your groceries. You could sit down and make out your menu and have Publix to deliver it to you. I don't have either one. If I had a Publix that delivered, my menu would be fixed for the week. And I would uh, have everything brought to me. I'm telling you, I would love to have that. So, but anyway, she cooked some, not a lot. But those boys enjoyed those fresh peas. I'm telling you, they were eating them up. So I left them in the crock pot. And Ashley said, Mom, you get some of them and take them home. But I ate a little bit out of, Reed had a little bit left out of the bowl. And so I just went by and got me and John a um, salad from Zaxby's. So I'm going home. But I am so ready to go home and get my pajamas on. So tomorrow, I'll do a video with Mama Love tomorrow. Because I haven't done one with her in a while. Oh, she's been so worried about me. I, she hadn't said a whole lot to me about it, but she has really been worried about me. I, I really think that she's afraid there's something wrong, and there's not. I don't feel like there's anything majorly wrong. I just feel like that it's a combination of all that I go through with the autoimmune, and then my neck, I'm telling y'all, when I left the chiropractor's office the other day, I felt different just from the length of time that he adjusted me until I left. And so I feel like when I go tomorrow, I feel like it's going to make even a bigger difference. I really do. And I've never been that sold on chiropractors. I mean, I've never really felt like I had to have one, but I feel like he's really going to be an answer for me. I really do. And it may be something that I start going to on a regular basis. Um, I've just been praying for God to give me the wisdom and the knowledge to know what to do because God will. Whatever we ask of him, he will do that for us. I mean, he wants us to be well. He wants us, you know, he just, he wants the best for his children. He does. He loves us so much, you know, and, and just when I was talking the other day, um, 
I just want to say to y'all, if there's ever a time that any of you watch any of my videos and, and you feel in despair and, you know, you don't feel like you can just say in the comment what you really want to say. That's the reason my email address is on there so that we can talk privately. I can't communicate privately with every YouTuber that I have. Not that I'm that huge of a channel, but obviously I can't. But I am there if you're under a burden or if you um, want to know more about the Lord. If you, um, you know, I had one of you to tell me that your faith walk, you were just so far away from your faith walk and you just didn't know how to get back. And, and, I, and I said, you know, write me if you want to. You know, sometimes if you've just got somebody that you can reach out to that can help you a little bit, um, the Bible tells us to be there for each other, to encourage each other. And that's the reason we have the page, Let Your Light Shine. It's not a social page, um, but it's there like y'all do to put prayer requests on there. And I know there's a lot of people that pray for the prayer request on there that never says anything. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me lately, I watch you all the time. I never say anything. And you don't have to. You don't have to. But if you are at a place in your life where you need to know more about the love of God, you need specific prayer. You know, I try to write everybody down in my journal when they say they need prayer so that I can call their name out in prayer. I'm not the greatest prayer warrior in the world. I slack at times just like a lot of people do. Uh, I told somebody today, I want my prayer life, I want my quiet time to be even more enhanced with the Lord than it's ever been before. And I get distracted just like you do. I have to fight it. I have to fight it uh, because things distract us in this life. And oh, how the devil wants to distract us. <laughs> Trust me, he gets up every morning with a motive to distract you, to discourage you. To, to trip you up, that's his motive. But the Bible says, greater is he that's within you than he that's in this world. See, the enemy has dominion over some of these parts of this world. I mean, he, he walks, and, and but he can't be every place at, at all the time like the Lord can. But he can trip you up. But the more that you pray, the more that you fill your mind with the thoughts of who God is and what he can do for you and you speak it out loud, oh, the more power you had. Someone shared with me today some things that just encouraged me. And see, that's what it's all about is just encouraging each other. So if you ever need to talk to me, you do that. That's the reason I put my email address on there. I promise you that. And it may take me a few days to get back to you because I am a busy woman. But I promise you, unless it gets lost in the shuffle, and if it does, you just write me back. But if you need prayer, if you need a closer walk with God, and you want to ask me a question, or you got a question about something, write me. Write me. Don't don't be afraid. I'm an ordinary person just like you. I am a sinner saved by grace. I am walking in mercy and grace every day. I am on my way to heaven and I'm walking this journey with you every day. That's, that's the reason that I do what I do is to encourage someone, to show someone the light. I mean, is it not wonderful? That God let me marry a man named Lot. <laughs> I mean, some people may think that's a coincidence. And I say, uh-uh. No, -uh. that's my God. That's my God. I love it. <laughs> Out of the darkness, into the light. You just don't know how true that is. Just don't know how true that is. I love y'all. I got Holy Ghost goosebumps just from saying that. And I mean it. They're, it's making the hair grow on my arm right now. <laughs> I'm going home, eat my salad. I'm going home to put on my pajamas, eat my salad. 
watch a little YouTube, read the Word of God in a quiet environment because I've not had that today. Get ready to start all over again tomorrow. I love you. And remember what John 10.10 10 says. That he says that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, God, Almighty, King of Kings, Lord of Lords said, I've come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. I love you and I pray abundant life over every one of you. I speak it. Whew. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost is in this car. My, 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 my. I feel it. I'm telling you, I feel it. I'm, it's going down my legs, all over my arms. That's not fake, guys. That's real. That's real. The Holy Ghost, it, when I said the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, it went all over me. But he said, I've come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. And I pray and speak abundant life over every one of you. In Jesus' name, amen.